What's up guys, this is Brandon Baker with Black Dog Barbecue, and I'm jumping into these YouTube videos with this lobster stuffed shrimp. I started off by taking a pound of 16 to 20 count shrimp that was both deveined but had the tails on, coated that with olive oil, then I sprinkled it with a healthy amount of Creole seasoning. I did this a few times, tossing it every once in a while just to make sure that shrimp was well coated. Just something to note, I bought the shrimp with the tails on because it's much easier to grab once the dish is finished. The money maker of this dish is definitely the lobster stuffing. I added a half pound in this case and feel free to swap this for crab if you'd like to. Next, I added a few sprinkles of hot sauce, then half of a lemon juiced. Then I hit it with a lot more of that Creole seasoning. I prefer that spicier flavor it provides, but feel free to swap that out if you want to. I also use cornmeal in this case. A lot of people use breadcrumbs. Only reason I did that is because I was out of breadcrumbs. So you can swap that easily as well. Finally added the mayonnaise as an emulsifier. Continued to add this several times just to make sure I had enough. You wanna make sure that this mixture is nice and thick so it's not running all over the place in the pan once you stuff those shrimp. It takes a few times, but continue to add the cornmeal and mayonnaise as needed until you finally hit that right consistency. So here's the tough part. We're gonna take the shrimp and we're going to cut the back of these about two thirds of the way through. We're gonna open that crevice up a little bit. It's gonna give us a nice surface to sit on. We're gonna do this with all the shrimp, so this part's gonna take a few minutes. After that, we're gonna start stuffing the shrimp. First time I did this, I tried using a spoon. Did okay, uh, but I don't recommend doing this. I actually recommend going about it the way that I did moving forward. So the way that I did that is we're just gonna use our hands. Make sure you get some gloves if you don't wanna get dirty, but just stuff it in the inside of that shrimp. Um, and this really worked best for me. After that, you gotta keep going with the rest of them. Once you've finished all those, we're gonna add it to a well-oiled cast iron pan before adding to a grill at about 375 degrees. Fun fact about this cook, I was cooking on a brand new pellet grill that has a sear and smoke mode. Turns out I was cooking at 275 degrees, not where I said. So this took much longer than expected, but once the shrimp and stuffing got that golden brown texture, I knew we were good to go. This whole cook took about 45 minutes, should have taken 15, but here we are. After that, I gave it a nice garlic butter bath. Speaking of the butter bath, I highly recommend. I used a stick of butter and a tablespoon of minced garlic. Feel free to use fresh garlic if you'd like, but this is what I had on hand. Finally, I garnished it up with a little bit of thyme just to make it look pretty. This is one of those appetizers that can definitely be a showstopper, whether you're sharing it with friends or family or just eating it yourself. It is literally that good. All right, now here's something I did learn once it was done. I wanna use a spoon, fork, whatever you got on hand, just to separate those shrimp a little bit, just to make sure that that stuffing doesn't fall out. You want it to stay together, make it look just like that. Save this one, follow me, and give it a try, guys.